Hello everyone and welcome back to our Sims 4 Warrior Cats Kitten spin-off series where we are taking a few steps off of the main plot of the Warrior Cats series in order to explore some alternative universes where if things had been just a little bit different for our cats how would their stories have unfolded and this time the random generator and your guys suggestions has actually brought together a pairing that I have always kind of had in the back of my mind in one wondering what if things had been slightly different? And my friends, today we are going to be exploring what if Firestar and what if Graystripe had actually had kittens. Yes, we are going to go there. And yes, we are actually going to go there with a little bit of a tweak this time because instead of having these two who are Tomcats in the series, and since that isn't the very first books, <laughs> I feel like it's okay to say that, but I will sit atop my pile of spoilers otherwise and we'll just have to like be very careful in what we share in the comments. But I've always wondered what if Graystripe had actually been a queen? So what if Graystripe had actually been a female cat? And that is what the random generator actually selected from the huge pile of suggestions that you guys have left. Do keep those coming because oh my goodness, we could go all summer with these warrior kitten setups. I'm telling you what and they are great doses of creative inspiration not only for myself but for so many of you guys too and today I just really kind of got into my mind like what if Graystripe had actually been a female cat and what if their friendship had ended up going into a completely different direction just because a, a couple characters who happen to be like opposite or the same genders happen to be friends doesn't mean that they need to go ahead and they they need to have a romance but we are gonna go down that path today so yes okay so i mean seriously how much would have changed if graystripe had been a female cat instead there's a lot of story that unfolded from the very beginning that would have been different i think and yet a lot of it that may not have been different at all I don't really think the, the question of gender is that important in the Warrior Cats series. So it's just kind of related to like, who ends up having what kits? <laughs> With all of that said, I love this idea. We know these two. I feel like we don't even need to do a story background for why they really ended up clicking together. But I'm going to go ahead and do it just really quickly. We'll get the Dice of Destiny and we will roll to see which random pet clothes they're going to be wearing. Bear in mind, these pet clothes are just meant as story prompts because I literally have nothing else I could use as story prompts in The Sims 4. I'm working with what I have my friends uh, but let's see one okay so something about a lot of leaves from Firestar so I think maybe just happy days in the forest and then we have two rolls with gray stripe one two and booties I just feel like these two went on a bunch of great adventures together. Maybe splashing about in the edge of the water, maybe like digging about through a whole bunch of the the forest, and they just bonded and became one of those pairs where you're like, yep, those two just go together like uh, bananas and peanut butter, as my beloved husband Chips enjoys. I, I personally am more of an almond butter person myself, but we'll leave that there. But in any case, let's go ahead and say that they just grew closer and closer as the years went by. Also, really quick thank you to Nicheflix, who actually created this version of Graystripe that we're using, and I am re re reusing Dolphin Simmer 13's version of Firestar this time around. And I don't know, I feel like they wouldn't have their first litter for quite a while. But when it's finally time, hopefully they would be very good parents. Mix. I'm, I'm curious to see how different they're going to be from the kits that may or may not have been born to these cats in the main series. Oh, and it's a little boy. Hello. Hello. And it looks like gray stripe. So it looks like your mom this time around, little one. Oh, and we're frisky and affectionate and mischievous. I'm going to say that we just have a really compassionate heart. And this is just a very sweet kitten. But he seems to get himself into trouble all the time, even though he is very well-meaning. And his name is actually going to be Rowan Cloud. That's a really nice name. I like that. Oh, and I just love the idea that, like, he's very well-meaning and super, like, frisky and always running around, like, Hey, how you doing? What you up to? 
but he just like trips over his own paws he gets in the way he like he he's the classic kitten who is running around the camp and like the warriors are trying to come in the elders are trying to rest the medcats are trying to go ahead and sort their stuff and he's just barreling around trying to be friendly and helpful and making a mess of everything mm -hmm. hang in there rowan cloud i'm sure you mean well Oh, already was on the list you guys are gonna love, by the way, from our random warrior cat's name generator. Oh, hello! And this time we have a little girl. So let's see if her personality is going to be just as helpful yet clumsy as her brother. It's almost identical! In fact, I think it's identical! <laughs> She's just, yeah, she's a free spirit and he's frisky. So I think that these two are just like a part and parcel of always getting into trouble. I think her free spiritedness means that she gets into trouble a little bit more intentionally than her brother. But friends, welcome to Mint Petal. What a lovely name. Oh, I really want to see what her story is going to be, but already I can tell she's going to be quite the handful, causing a lot of chaos with her brother. Oh, this is so fun being like, oh, these kids, there's so much more work than other kids that we have in the clan. Oh, hey, and now we actually have a little girl who looks very much like her father. And she is actually a talkative free spirit who's very curious. Something tells me that this kitten sticks her nose where it doesn't belong, even as a kit of wanting to get into everybody's business and wanting to like, I, she's the one who's probably up there with her dad going like, but why did you choose to do that? But why, but why, but why are the territories like that? But why did you decide to send that cat out on patrol? So she's gonna be that kitten who basically sits at Firestar's side and Firestar's like, go away. <laughs> And she's like, but why? She's the but why kitten. And her name is actually going to be Dust Paws. Now, with the last name Paws, we usually have this idea that that means that she left during, uh, like, apprentice training. But something tells me that she didn't. Something tells me that Dust Paws actually got the suffix Paws because she just has her paws kind of in everything because of that curiosity. Some of the cats, we have that paw name, and I'm like, oh, no, they died when they were young. Some of them, I'm like, oh, they got kidnapped by a kitty pet. Some of them might have left as loners, but I feel like Dust Paws actually has the suffix pause as her name just because her paws are in everything i love her a little but why kitten all right i feel like this would be enough to keep gray stripe and firestar busy forever but oh and another little boy oh my gosh i just love those ears okay so now we have oh a territorial lazy glutton where all of his siblings probably rise to the occasion of trying to contribute quite a bit to the clan. I'm gonna be honest, I don't know what Sneeze Puddle. <laughs> what if he got the last name Puddle because he's so lazy? <laughs> oh my word. Yeah. Yeah. We're just kind of gonna leave that there. Um, I, I'm actually getting the vibe of like Sneeze Puddle is kind of a little bit of a grouch, doesn't like to be told what to do, and he doesn't really prompt himself to set out and be super ambitious the way Dust Paws probably wants to become Dust Star one day, or the way that Mint Petal and Raven Cloud, or excuse me, Rowan Cloud want to go about and like help everybody and be super friendly. I feel like Sneeze Puddle is just like, uh, yeah, no. And he just rolls over and goes back to sleep. <laughs> He does what he wants to do, what he wants to do, and no cat is going to tell him different. Oh my goodness. Kitten and the next set of names. Oh, that's such a cute kitten. And who is it going to be? Oh, another boy. And he is actually just like Graystripe. We only have, somehow that's super fitting though, that Dust Paws, who wants to become Dust Star. Uh, it's super fitting that she's the only one that looks like her dad so far. But we now have a playful, aloof, and frisky kitten who it sounds like just cannot hold still, whose name is actually going to be Creek Star. Whoa, that was the next name from the random generator. I wonder, I actually think this is a bit of drama, friends, between Dust Paws, who always wanted to become the next leader of the clans, and Creek Star, who is the next leader. I mean, other than Firestar, 
how often, and be careful with spoilers on answering these questions, friends, um, but how often is it that a cat who was not, like, native to the clan becomes the leader of the clan? Because alternatively, maybe Creekstar has his own little clan that he runs somewhere else. Maybe he ended up kind of falling in with another clan like River Clan and becoming promoted within their ranks instead. Uh, but I, I actually feel like maybe... Even though Dustpaws really thought she had it in the bag, maybe like she got passed over for being the next leader of the clan because Creekstar just had more support from in the clan or even support from Star Clan. And I wonder what that would do to her ambitions after spending her whole life trying to understand what it took to be a good leader. Maybe she just lacks that last grasp of empathy that somehow Creekstar ended up having and it just made him the better leader in the long run. Or maybe he wouldn't be the better leader and Dustpaws would spend the rest of a long time trying to prove that. Drama! This is the kind of like interfamily politics. Well, I was gonna say of thrones, but I guess I should say of paws. There we go. And now we have, oh, are we really? Oh, the last kitten! And it's another little girl who looks very much like Dusk Paws. Oh my gosh. All right, guys. Now we have a talkative, aloof, mischievous cat who I think doesn't really want anything to do with what anybody else has to tell her. Uh, and her name is Aunt Shine. I actually love that. I really love that name. It's very cute. And I think Aunt Shine has a kind of intensity about her where she really kind of unsettles cats because she'll just kind of stare at them. And then she has a lot to say once you get her talking. But otherwise, she's super aloof because she's one of those cats who just tends to stare at you while you talk and stare at you and stare at you and stare at you. And she doesn't respond, doesn't respond. Then you start panicking. Did you say something weird? Are you not explaining yourself right? But she just is kind of aloof that way and a little mischievous. So I think she likes to stare at lines of ants as they as they walk in little rows without blinking for a very long time. She's the cat that's going to win the staring contest with you, basically. <laughs> All right. Wow. I think so far my favorite story has been the struggle between Creepstar and Dustpaws as one becomes the leader when the other really wanted to her whole life. And now we're going to go ahead and see what happens when the Dice of Destiny grows these little ones up and we see what would have happened if Firestar and Graystripe had gone down a different path. Rowan Cloud? Oh, hey, you're not even very big. You're just kind of like an adorable middling cat. And the Dice of Destiny says we roll twice for both you and your more or less identical sister. Oh, for just a second, I thought Rowan Cloud was going to be an exile because we do say that when you co you're covered in the snow, one of the things the snow can represent is being exiled from the clans. But then he gained a popularity bow. So maybe somebody tried to pin some sort of terrible crime on him, and but he was able to prove his innocence. It's even a white bow and come back and be popular once more. Cause I imagine a really frisky yet seems to always get into the trouble unintentionally and well-meaningly, a uh, mischievous cat who's super affectionate would be a great target for a more manipulative character who wanted to pin the blame on someone. <gasps> oh, Mint Petal, save your brother! <laughs> Are you gonna set out to prove your brother's innocence and be able to bring him back to the clan? Also, I love your gigantic tail. That's very cute. All right, we rolled twice for her too. One, two. She actually rolled this set of ears twice. Hmm, I think she listens carefully and listens in to little secrets that might be uh, might be clues into how to help her brother restore his innocent name and return to the clan. Yes, I think I think she picks up like she might be the cat who just kind of overhears things that maybe she wasn't supposed to, but gives her great insight into secrets that she could use. Meanwhile, dust paws. You wanted so badly to live up to your father's legacy and become the next leader of the clan. And yet, here we are with the Dice of Destiny saying we roll twice. One, two. <sighs> I'm, I'm just, the hat for some reason is making me think that she really did just 
become kind of blind to the idea of what was going on with all of the other cats emotionally. She got the idea of what it meant to be a leader from a logistical point of view, but I think that she just kind of missed out on what it meant to be a leader that could inspire. In the end, she makes a great deputy, but not a great star. Oh, hang in there, Just Paws. Meanwhile, Sneeze Puddle <laughs> wants basically nothing to do with anybody. It's kind of fun to have a cat who's just like, why would I bother putting in all that effort? Let's be real here. I really kind of like having a character like that now and then just to kind of balance out all the aspirational adventurous types. And uh, Sneeze Puddle, one, no, he lost an eye. Two, birds, three, okay. That was lost an eye, then a bird beak, and then big rabbit ears. So I'm going to go ahead and say that Sneeze Puddle actually lost an eye to a hawk. So we'll toss that in there. Um, and then the rabbit ears that are kind of bounced about. Hmm. I think he's a little sensitive about it. Like, I think some of Sneeze Puddle's more, more touchy personality comes from the fact that he did lose a fight maybe when he was an apprentice trying to prove himself and get ready to become a warrior, lost a fight with a hawk, lost an eye, and he's just really sensitive about that. Really, really touchy about, like, don't talk about how his hunting goes, don't talk about how he looks. Um, and I think it's important just to have characters like that that are part of our stories as well that kind of offer that background kind of ambiance of somebody who's struggling with something and hasn't had that full arc of coming to peace with it yet. Creekstar, you are precious. <laughs> I'm like, well, look at that innocent face. I don't know if you can be a good leader with an innocent, innocent face like that. However, we're going to do our best. One, two, three, four, five, six. <gasps> he died! <laughs> Does pause to tell me this is not how you ended up coming into control of the clan. And yet at the same time... What if she was like secretly hoping to become the leader for years and then Creekstar with his wonderful kind innocent face he ended up dying. I, we didn't have the crown at the end which would mean that he he come I mean he had nine lives but what if he ended up using all of them up or he died in such a traumatic way that like all of them go poof right on, right at the same time. And then that is how Dustpaw becomes Dust Star, but she's going to be like, no, I didn't really want to become like Dust Star like this. And yet there she is. Oh, the drama, you guys. Very fitting for Firestar's kids. Oh my gosh. Aunt Shine, can you like lighten it up a little bit? Oh my gosh, Aunt Shine. Oh, you're so cute. <laughs> All right, I'm very happy with how cute Aunt Shine turned out. We're gonna roll one, two, three, four. And unfortunately, Anshine has gone blind. She has gone blind and she has a harness on, which I often equate to having become a kitty pet. Um, so I'm gonna actually say that Aunt Shine fell in, unfortunately, with some really bad two legs and she was wounded, but she was rescued by another two leg. And yet that is another strike against Dustpaw's heart of not having been able to protect her sister or her brother. And now look at where they are. And maybe that even had something to do with how Rowan Cloud was like blamed for something and why Sneeze Puddle is so sensitive and like withdrawn. He, he too is carrying the burden that is now upon all these poor kittens' hearts. Oh, the drama! <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me. I feel exhausted because, man, Dustpaw, I kind of want to write her short story about how she ended up becoming Dust Star now. Holy cats. Uh, if you guys could, do please leave a like for all of our little adventures here. And if you'd like to join us on this and literally thousands more, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.